Okay, welcome everyone. This is a tutorial on how to upload long animated Steam artworks to a screenshot showcase. This is the second video that I'm doing in a small series that will cover how to upload to all the artwork showcases. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing and checking out my other videos that you might help you in the future. However, this is not a video on how to create screenshot showcases yourself. This is just how to upload them. If you're looking to get an artwork made for you, check out my portfolio and consider supporting me on Fiverr. Both links are in the description below. That being said, let's get started. So the first thing is you want your artwork to be split up into two pieces, a left and the right panel. Now I'm going to be using an artwork I made for a client a little bit back to use as an example in this video. I already have it split up into a left and a right. So when you have your artwork all ready to go, simply head over to your browser. I'm using Google Chrome for the purposes of this video. However, I do believe the same process works in Firefox and Brave. I am not sure about any other browsers, so keep that in mind if you are following along with this tutorial. Simply Google Steam and head over to their web page. From here on, you want to log into your account. And when you're logged in, click on this drop arrow to go to view profile. Once you are on your profile, you can simply scroll down and find the artwork tab. Click on it and it will bring you to this page. Now, two things to note on this page. I know it says we're on the artwork tab instead of the screenshot tab and we're doing a screenshot showcase. However, that is that is not a mistake. That is that is correct. We're going to be fixing that with a piece of code later. And the other thing, if you have artworks uploaded already, this page might look a little bit different and this upload artwork will be at the top right. Regardless, simply click upload artwork and click not game specific on this prompt. Now we're at the page we want to be the upload your artwork page. From here on, choose file and find the left segment of your artwork. We're going to be uploading it first and I'll explain why later in this video. So click it, open it, make sure the preview reflects the right GIF and name your GIF. Now, keep in mind, this will be publicly available to anyone viewing your profile. So keep that in mind when they you know, click I certify that I created this artwork. Do not steal people's artworks, create your own or have someone created for you. When you're done with that, you can click right click anywhere on the page, click inspect, and that will give you the inspect element tool. Or you can simply hit F12 and we'll do the same. We're going to be navigating to the console tab and pasting this code in here. I will link this code in my description below. Simply copy and paste it. Once you've done that, hit enter and it should return with this statement. Once that statement has returned, you've done every, everything correctly. You can close it out and save and continue. Now, your artwork will be uploading and the time it takes is dependent on your internet speed. However, once it is done, simply head one back and we're going to be repeating those steps for the right piece as well. So choose file right open it already selected this because i just head back so then inspect console paste the code enter it returns the statement you close it up save and continue so now it will upload this piece and when it's done you can simply head over to your profile so we're now going to display the artwork we've just uploaded now if you pay attention you'll see i now have two screenshot showcases in my screenshots however now we need to display them. So we're going to click on edit profile, head to featured showcase, and we'll be faced with this prompt. You can choose the screenshot showcase from this drop down, and then we'll have a lot of squares. We're going to be working with the big left square and the tiny top right square. We're going to be using the left square for the left piece and the top right square for the right piece. So when you click on it, if you've done everything correctly, you should have two lines. Now, this is where the order of uploading your left and right piece matters. The first piece you upload will be displayed last and the last piece you upload will be displayed first. So the first in the sequence would be your right piece and the second in the sequence would be your left piece. This matters if you have more than one uploaded and then there's, there's just a bunch of lines and you don't know which is which. So I uploaded the left piece first, so it will be the last one in the sequence. And then you can see I named it a comma. That is the comma. That means I uploaded the right one. Then you click on the right one. That's the last one I uploaded. So it's the first one here. I know it's a bit confusing, but it does make sense. 
So once you've done that, it's going to display as lines. Don't worry about that. Just come down and save and give it a second. It's just loading. And once it's done loaded, it will expand and be full size like you see on this right piece here. If it doesn't do it, you've done something wrong. However, if you followed all the steps, everything should work properly. So just save, make sure you saved, head over to your profile and you can view it on your profile. So that is how you upload an artwork to a screenshot showcase. It is long, it's an extended artwork and it is animated. Everything works perfectly. Now, the only difference between a screenshot showcase and an artwork showcase is the code you use in the console when uploading it. There is no difference other than that. Now, consider checking out my other videos. I'm going to be doing the featured artwork showcase next and how to upload that. And yeah, stick around if you're interested in seeing those. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Have a great day.